95th PGA Championship wrapping up this afternoon at Oak Hill Country Club in Rochester, New York. Jim Furyk had the lead heading into the final day of the year's final major. We go to number five, Jason Duffner, helping himself out with the perfect approach here. He would take the lead at 10 under with one of three front nine birdies on the day. Furyk, well, he would have quite the long birdie putt right here on six, and it would help him join Duffner at the top with this shot that he sinks in from way out there. But on 18, Furyk faltering with two straight bogeys on 17 and 18. He had a total of three on the day and he finished one over for Sunday. Duffner, he would also bogey 18, but that was all right because he wins his first major by two strokes. It was a long day, uh, tough golf course, and uh, you know, it probably hasn't hit me yet. I can't believe this is happening to me. And, um, you know, to come back from a couple years ago in this championship when I lost to Keegan in the playoff to win uh, feels really, really good. It's a great feeling to actually win one of these now. Now, Duffner becomes the 19th different man to win one of the last 21 majors. Furyk misses out with a two over, but he still finishes second. Henrik Stenson, even on the day to finish at third. Jonas Blixt is fourth. Adam Scott and Scott Piercy, who shot five under today, they tied for fifth. Now, last year, the Springfield Cardinals didn't win the first half of the Texas League season. They had to go on a hot streak in the second half to get into the playoffs. That led to the franchise's first ever Texas League title. And after being at Hammonds all week, it's hard not to think the Cards are recapturing that magic. They've won seven straight heading into today's game. Last night's win gave them sole possession of first in the Texas League North. And it was Shelby Miller bobblehead night. Careful with that elbow there. Cards trying to sweep Midland. Go bottom of the first. First round pick Steven Piscotti goes up the middle. Colin Walsh will come in. Give them one nothing lead. Top two. Bases juice. Jonathan Cornelius walks Connor Crumbless. Tying it up at one apiece. Next batter, Darby Myers, the easy grounder to Vance Albitz, but he can't glove it. Two runs are going to come in, but the Cardinals, a little bit of issue getting that ball in. They would add another one on top because of two errors on that one play. 4-1 Rockhound lead. Next batter, Josh Whitaker, going to bounce this one just short of the wall to drive in one more in that inning. 5-1 Cornelius, just one and two thirds, gave up six runs. Only one of them was earned. Cards no longer streaking. They lose this one 11-5. Big League Cardinals trying to make up on some lost ground to Pittsburgh. St. Louis has dropped four straight heading into Sunday. They're trying to avoid a sweep to the Chicago Cubs. Cards start the day four games behind the Pirates, but they still lead the wild card comfortably. Seven and a half game cushion there. Bottom one, Matt Holliday going to drive in Carlos Beltran before he had to leave the game with a foot contusion. One nothing cards, same inning. John Jay slaps it the other way. Driving in the run there, 3-0 St. Louis, top three. Cubs, Junior Lake with the easy fly, right? Well, not so easy. Matt Holliday loses this one in the sun. David DeJesus going to score on that bloop. 3-1 lead. Darwin Barney going to come up the middle. Going to bring Donnie Murphy around home. Ties it up four piece. Not looking good for St. Louis, but bottom of the eighth. Alan Craig doing what he's done best all year, driving in another run in scoring position. Cards avoid the Chicago sweep, 8-4. The Bucks lost to the Rockies today, their third straight loss. Cards pick up a game there, now just three games back in the division. Redbirds, a huge series with Pittsburgh starting Tuesday night in St. Louis. Adam Wainwright will throw first for the Cardinals. And they're finally playing meaningful baseball at the K in August. Royals looking to take three of four from the Bow Sox. Bottom two, one all. Gerard Dyson going to bring in Mike Moustakis, giving KC the 2-1 lead. Just a couple batters later, David Lowe, blooper to right. That'll get Dyson around, 3-1 KC now. Bottom three, Alex Gordon. Well, he went three for four on the day, and here's his most important one. Going to put this one all the way up into the grass there in the outfield. 4-1, Royals lead. Top six, Ryan LaVarnway going to get the Bow Sox back in. Places this hit perfectly, gonna net two runs, just a 4-3 lead for the Royals. Greg Hall in top nine. There's his 32nd save of the season and 25th straight. Royals, big 4-3 win. Now they have won seven straight series and that ties a franchise record set back in 1991. And they still got a mountain to climb in that division, four and a half out of the wild card. They will warm up for a big series against the Detroit Tigers against the lowly Miami, Miami Marlins first. Three-game series starts tomorrow night at Kauffman. Wade Davis will take the mound. 
For Color 10 Sports, I'm Alex Brown.